In today's video, we're going back to some of the oldest Yu-Gi-Oh sets of all time, including the most desired OCG set, Spell of Mask. What is up guys, we are back with a video, something that I have not done much of, which is opening old school vintage OCG Yu-Gi-Oh packs. This is super exciting because I have opened a couple of these sets over the years, but I have not opened like a wide variety all at once. And this is very awesome because Spell of Mask, as I already mentioned, has the potential of ultimate rare blue eyes. Some of these other ones have other ultimate rares that I've, I've never pulled any of these. I've never pulled a Japanese OCG ulti from one of these original sets. By the way, all these sets came out before the TCG even existed. So we're talking 2001 all the way back to early 2000 and the TCG came out in 2002. So all this stuff is even older than first dead Legend of Blue Eyes. And some of these ultis are absolutely awesome, especially that Blue Eyes White Dragon. I do have one that I'm gonna show off in just a second, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Legendary Duel Season 2 First Edition box. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about these OCG packs? Have you ever experienced them yourself? Like, do you have any of these old OCG cards? Have you ever seen them open? And what do you think about it? All right, and as we go in, I am gonna show off what some of the OCG ultis look like. So, out of Spell of Mask, this is the card we're looking for, the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. This came out before LLB First Ed, SDK, DDS, all that stuff came out in 2002. This came out in 2001, so very, very awesome Spell of Mask. And this is Spell of Mask can get the blue eyes. Other things like Thousand Eyes Bible can get the Ultimate Rare, Thousand Eyes Restrict, stuff like that. I'm gonna go through what we can potentially get as we go, but this is the biggest card that we potentially have a chance at. And then there's a little variance between if it's purple or blue in the background, which makes it rarer or more expensive, depending on which one you get. So very cool item. I'm super excited for this opening. The thing is with these old school ones, like you know how old school Yu-Gi-Oh is really hard to pull stuff? OCG old school, even harder. So if we get anything good, we're gonna be excited. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. If you haven't heard by now, Whatnot is an awesome auction platform where you can buy and sell all kinds of different items. From comics to coins to shoes, and of course, trading cards, Whatnot has it all. And of course, I sell on Whatnot, so if you guys wanna come and hang out on a live stream, because yes, they are live streamed, you get to watch it just like a YouTube live stream, but you could also buy items while watching. We are doing a massive first edition and unlimited hunt for the Dark Magician Girl from Magician's Force. So I have not only a first edition Magician's Force box, but also an unlimited box. And that's not even the best part. I'm giving away an original print Dark Magician Girl to one of you guys who was on the stream, you don't even have to buy anything. So if you wanna be a part of the stream, whether it's to buy a pack or just to watch, make sure you click my link down below, get $15 free credit if you're a new user on your first purchase. Then search my name, Ruxin34 in whatnot, you'll find my profile and you can click bookmark on the show because it's gonna be pretty awesome. I wanna make sure you guys don't forget about it. The show is tonight at 6.30 p.m. Central, so make sure you show up. We're finally gonna pull that Dark Magician Girl first, Ed. I hope, hope to see you guys there. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So let's start it off. I have them actually in reverse chronological order if we go this way. So this is the newest set, Brewster Chronicle. So the way the English sets work is they would take them from different sets and kind of create other sets. So this set was later used as Duel's Legacy Volume 4, Invasion of Chaos, and Retro Pack. Too. So you guys know I love Retro Pack 2, you know I love Invasion of Chaos, so this should be a pretty amazing one. The set has one secret rare, three ultra parallel rares, one ulti, three ultras, six supers, 11 rares, 60 commons. So a lot of cool stuff in here. The big ones we can get, let's see if we can get the ultis. Gemini Elf. Oh yeah, there's only one ulti. So one Gemini Elf is what we're looking for. So that would be pretty awesome. The weird thing is you're like, wait a second, Gemini Elf, that's not in Invasion of Chaos, but it is in Retro Pack as a common. So they're sometimes different. So like Spell of Mask, we'll get to that in a second, but take a guess, Mask, that doesn't really fit with the Blue Eyes set, because it's not. All right, enough chitter chatter, let's open one up. I'm probably not gonna get anything good today. I don't know if there's pull tabs on these. I might just do this, just to try to preserve the artwork, because it's such a cool uh, old pack, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to on these or not. But we have 28 packs to be opened today, so get excited, oh, yeah, I destroyed it. That top, the top part's always really hard, so that's the part that, well, I messed up the bottom too, I'm not gonna lie, so. Booster Chronicle has been destroyed. Very tough to get these uh, these cards in nice conditions. Let's see what we can get. That is some sort of old school, Yu I mean, that's old school Yu-Gi-Oh to a T, like I'm just a vanilla monster with an interesting artwork. I like it, we have Tigrax, that's a good one, TP1 card. Oh yeah, this card is in TP6, I think. It's, uh, I feel like it's something about the library. Yeah, there's books there. And then we have, ooh, what is this? Oh wait, no, there's one more card. Oh, there's five cards in here. All right, that's cool. I'm used to the Rush Duel with only four cards earlier. I recorded that. You guys will see it tomorrow. Don't worry, it's gonna be fun. Very cool. And, uh, oh, corro Corrosion Sark, Corroding Sark, something like that. 
So as you see, you don't get like guaranteed rare or anything. It's just five vanillas right there. Just five vanilla cards. What's our highest attack? 1400, 1400, 1400. And before we continue on, I want to remind you guys, if you like old school openings, tonight at 6.30 p.m. Central, we will be opening Magician's Force First Ed and Unlimited Searching for Dark Magician Girl. They're both hobby boxes. I'm also giving away a Dark Magician Girl to one of you guys. And while we're here, I might as well show you guys this unlimited near mint Dark Magician Girl will be given away to one person in the stream. You can be international. You don't have to buy anything. So it's available for literally everyone as long as you're on whatnot with an account. That's all you have to do. And if you want to get $15 free credit, make sure you check out my link down below. So we're giving that away. We have this to open right here. That's a first ed Magician's Force hobby box. That's fun. And then an unlimited. Why not? Let's try to get both Dark Magician Girls in the same night. So I am ultra pumped for that. So make sure you are there tonight at 630. It's going to be super fun. Let's continue the opening. Am I going to go all? Let's just do them all in a row. Like we I think I'm going to save Spell of Mask for the end, even though it is a newer one because it has the biggest potential. But we'll do Booster Chronicle again next, just so I can kind of go through these one at a time, you know, and talk about them and say what we can get. So Gemini Elf is the big one. Some other cards we can get. Axe Raider, you can get an Ultra and uh, Ultra Parallel and Ultra Rare too. Not just a common or that's not a rare. Wait, was that a rare? I think that might have been a rare. Let me double check that in a second. But first, let's go with this one. We have corrosion corroding shark thing we have this i feel like is this wow warrior there's a card named wow warrior i feel like that might be it we have the oh hercules beetle from tp1 that was a super in tp1 we have another eagle guy and we have oh beast king of the swamp beast king of the swamp i think that's what it's called all right so we are destroying these beautiful old school packs should not be opening these but i haven't done a lot of this kind of opening on my channel and it's just really exciting if you've never done it before and there's not a lot of things i have not opened now nowadays so when i get the chance to open something like this it's pretty hard not to do it next pack i'm getting a little better at opening these we have gus fan we have Parrot Dragon, the original. This was a TP2 common. It was very expensive, so I got a reprint in Legendary Collection Kaiba. We have, what is that? That's such a cool card. I don't even know what, I don't know. If, did we ever get this card? That's all. We didn't get some of these OCG cards, so we might not have gotten that one. Uh, oh, we definitely got this one. I think this was a TP1 card as well. I can't remember what it's called. Some kind of robot. Cyber. No, this might be the, the first Dark World card. It's like Cyber Soldier of Dark World or something like that. And, uh, oh, Versago the Destroyer. So this is where we get all the, you know, the fusion from TP1 that are reprinted in TP5. They're like our fusion materials that you can use uh, to make fusions a little easier. So two rares. I mean, they're not guaranteed. Try to get this out without any damage right there. No, don't throw that pack away. We have... Ooh, Wing Dragon Guardian the Fortress number one? Not number two, maybe? We uh oh, what's this lady's name? It's something Aqua. Made of the Aqua is not it, but I think it's also Aqua. And I can't remember. White Hole for Dark Hole. Counters. Yeah, the hard counter. Cyber Soldier of Dark World. And uh, Ooh, the Spear. Something Spear. Burning Spear, maybe? It's just something general like that. That's also in TP1. A lot of TP1 cards in here, actually. This is interesting. Tournament Pack 1. So we see where they were, uh, you know, inspired from. Did I say when this one came out? I forgot to say where, when it came out. Oh, that one just got ripped. I think it's late 2001. Let me look. Uh, this one was August 30th, 2001. So old school. We have a Crawling Dragon. It's a different one. No, I think it's Crawling Dragon. We have the called Call of the Grave. Not called by the I think it's Call of the Grave. Paradragon. We have the eyeballs, Millennium Eyeballs, I don't know. And oh, this is a classic card. I think that we just got this in the TCG at some point. I don't think we had it for a long time. That is a really cool one. Just like a very, he has no eyeballs or does he? Maybe that's a little eyeball over there. Pretty cool. See, as, as I told you guys, getting foils, very tough. And I, you know, they're loose packs. So getting foils on loose packs is tough already. So when you add in the fact that there's not a lot of foils in these OCG packs, Makes it really, really tough. All right, come on, Booster Chronicle. Okay, the, uh, oh, what's he called? The Maiden, the, oh, I forgot. It's TP2 rare. It's a very nice card. Pretty expensive, actually. Uh, Gust Fan. We had, that's crawling. No, Zombie. This is Zombie Dragon or something. Zombie something. Ooh, the Dinosaur Guy. Yeah, I remember this one. This is in a lot of those old school Yu-Gi-Oh games. Or one of them, at least. And, oh, the bird thing. So these are all so fun. They're such cool cards. Last Booster Chronicle. So far, we've not hit a foil. If we hit any foils in this, it's going to be great. I think it's going to be pretty tough because they're... If you guys remember, I did a fair, or a Thousand Eyes Bible opening. Go watch the full box opening. Sealed box. I think we got three foils out of a sealed box. So it is not easy at all. Okay, we're destroying some of these. That's okay. They're made out of different stuff. Uh, Restructor Revolution, I believe. 
Hercules beetle, Herculean beetle, something like that. Uh, Patrol Robo. We got the Dragon Bird and oh, another rare Exile of the Wicked. OK, it literally says Bible. Interesting. So that would be something that they would uh, censor when they brought it to the TCG, which they did. All right, Labyrinth of Nightmare. We only have one pack. This one came out on July 21st, 2001. So just a little bit before that. This one has two ultimate rares. So later, this set was created to make our Labyrinth of Nightmare along with Spell of Mask. Because Spell of Mask actually turned into Labyrinth of Nightmare part of it. The two ultimate rares you can get are Dark Necrofear and Dark Magician. I forgot Dark Magician was in here. That would be pretty big. A Dark Magician would be huge. I mean, I would, I would be okay with Dark Necrofear here too so one pack magic here uh we gotta hope for something because the chances we get something pretty low but if we do get some it's gonna be fun let's see i mean it would be a, a major like big time pull because they're very hard to pull we've got destruction punch a little bit different cards now because we're on a different set a kibio drachmord i know that one we have oh that's another labyrinth of nightmare card of course because it makes labyrinth of nightmare i don't remember what it's called Oh, Jagan Spiritualist and oh, Flame Dancer and his Burning Rope. Watch out. So I saw normal. I was like, maybe Dark Magician. No, it is not a Dark Magician at all. All right, Spell of Mask. We are going to come back to this one because that's a big deal. We are going to do, we're going to put these to the end. I just wanted to put them in order. Just know that this is the order of like going back. This would be the next set if we were going back in time. So the next oldest one is Metal Raiders, which we have opened before. We've done a whole video on opening a box of Metal Raiders. Go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, for some reason, I can't find the list for this uh it's only bringing up the tcg one we've done sort of a background on this before so we're just gonna go into it uh this one came out in 2001 as well so we're gonna keep going i don't know why the list is not going to bring up tcg metal raiders for some reason that's okay i thought i had the ocg before i started but i didn't add the tcg up okay that was a little easier to open so they were kind of had that one figured out there but then they messed it up on the next one so hoshingen we have the crass clown i don't remember what the ulti is in here i think it's something not that crazy it might be like barrel dragon no we got a barrel dragon ultra i think Baby dragon. I oh, what is it? There's only like one, maybe two. I think there's only one in this set. MRD. Here we go. Can we get a foil? We have not pulled one yet. We have Dream Clown. I have pulled a foil out of uh Metal Raiders before. We actually pulled more out of the Metal Raiders box. I think we got like six or something like that compared to the other uh, Thousand Times Bible. There's Pump King, Crass Clown, the Rabbit Horseman, and we have oh we did get something they were like sticking together that's why i had to open them like that and there was a foil in there okay and of course it's seven tools of the bandit always one of the worst ones out of metal raiders but still i really like the look of it and the fact that we got a foil at all out of an ocg pack is really awesome so hey i'm not complaining that's pretty sick seven tools of the bandit first pull of the day we are a lot of packs in but we finally got something so we are not going to go over that's pretty amazing mrd ocg it came out a year before the tcg metal raiders the, i can't remember what two sets made up metal raiders but metal raiders was half the set for the tcg this ocg version and then there was another one that mixed together with it to make the full set okay let's just keep opening like this labyrinth tank we have pump king king of ghosts Yadakaru, something like that. Vile Germs, maybe? And Heavy Storm as a common. That is a great card. Common Heavy Storm. Okay, I'm in for that. Next Metal Raiders, we have one more. This set, uh, not as crazy because there's not a huge pull in it, but it's MRD. It's my favorite set. So you at least get those awesome cards, or at least half of them. The thing is, the sad part we learned, there's no Pecanio Moth in Metal Raiders in the OCG because it's in the other half, the other set that made up the other half of Metal Raiders. Musician came, got Hoshingen. Little Swordsman of Ale. We've got a Paralyzing Potion and we have, oh, another one, Metal Raiders coming in clutch. Of course, it's the Magic Jammer. Magic Jammer, so we're getting all the trap cards that are not that great, but beautiful. It has the different artwork. This is the original artwork that they, for some reason, changed up. I don't really know why they changed it a little bit, but two foils and only like five MRD packs, two supers pulled, maybe that gives me hope for an ultra or an, any ulti. I don't care which one it is. We're once again on the Thousand Eyes Bible, which is December 14th, 2000. So we're back in the year 2000, 24 years ago. Well, 23 and a half or whatever you want to say, but still very old. The one ulti is the Thousand Eyes Restrict. I opened a whole box for this. I did get the Thousand Eyes, but not the ulti. So let's see if we can do it here. This is fun opening these OCG packs. They just don't come up very often, come up, come up very often. And they're usually loose, so it's really hard to trust them. Which same thing here, but Goblin Attack Force, we have Souls of the Forgotten. Oh, I forgot to say, this made up Pharaoh Servant and something. I'll, I'll check in a second. And a Cold Wave and... Okay, infinite dismissal. It's dim dismissing us. Out, out you go. So this set plus Curse of Anubis actually made up Pharaoh. Is that right? So Pharaoh Servant didn't make up Pharaoh Servant? Look, we have a bunch. 
Okay, we're going to figure that out in a second because we're doing that one next. I'm literally doing this as we go. Uh, I pulled it up, but I didn't actually read it. Interesting. So Pharaoh Servant, our set, does not have Pharaoh Servant from the OCG in it at all. All right, very weird. Curse of Anubis. Um, I don't have any of those packs, but let's keep going. All right, Herculean Beetle, maybe, I think, something like that. Uh... The Return of the Doom. So I don't remember what it's called. Uh, co spatial Collapse. No, that's a different card. Something about collapsing, I think. We have uh, Fairy Meteor Crush. That is for sure the name. And... Oh, Dokuro Yaiba. Nothing in the... Those packs. We do have a lot of Pharaoh Servant. Let's see what... <laughs> Let's see what they make up. Okay, so Ferris Servant, this came out on July 13th, 2000. So very, very old. No ulties in this set? Interesting. Okay, this doesn't tell me this, but looking at it, this seems like it's Magic Ruler. Hugh Zanru, Toon Summon Skull, Toon World, Horn Weird. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Ultra Parallel. So strange. Okay, so Pharaoh Servant, OCG, the original, does not make up our Pharaoh Servant at all. It makes up Magic Ruler. What a strange turn of events. I would not have guessed that. That is weird. Okay, let's see if we can get an ultra parallel rare or something. Giant rat. We have the cyber jar, the sonic bird, turtle oath, and we have, oh, stone ogre grotto, I think is what that's called. Stone ogre grotto. We have two supers so far, both metal raiders. Can we potentially get something else? I mean, because we can't get ultis here, but we could get ultras. We could get supers. We could get ultra parallel rare. Any of that stuff is good. Let's see. Uh, Umi Ruka. We have the House of Adhesive Tape. Yeah, this is definitely Magic Ruler. The Boar Soldier, and we have... Wait. Oh, two cards. I ruined it. We have the two Mega Ryuran, not Toon, and then the Shining Angel. So three extra commons right there. We've got one Magic Ruler pack coming up, which should, I, I guess, contain Magic Ruler, and then Spell of Mask, which is the big one, the one we've all been waiting for. Look, I don't care if we pull nothing else. If we get the blue eyes, it's going to be a very successful opening. Crab Turtles up next, the classic OCG version. Umiruka. House of Adhesive Tape. We have Boar Soldier, and we have... Manga Rai Ran. All right, so another Manga Rai Ran. Good old school stuff being open, but don't forget, 6.30 p.m. Central tonight, we are opening English First Ed, Magician's Force. Make sure you're there for that. It is going to be wacky. It's going to be wild. And hopefully we pull two Dark Magician Girls so that three people in the stream get a Dark Magician Girl. Zebra. We have Scary Man. I don't remember what that's called. We have Psychic Kappa. UFO Roy. You, no, not UFO Roy. Sorry. It's, yeah, you know, you guys know. UFO Turtle and Wall Shadow. Not a rare, not nothing. I guess you get rares in here, right? There are rares in this set. We're not pulling any of them. <laughs> it's all commons. Come on. Here we go. Bless us with something big. Ultra Parallel Rare Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Hamburger Recipe. Mega Ryuran. Oh, we got a Rux and Special happening, which is hard to do with Japanese cards. Maybe that's a good sign. UFO Turtle. Cyber Jar. And finally... Oh, a Toon Summon Skull! out of pharaoh servant you've never heard that sentence before oh my goodness pharaoh servant toon summon skull who knew that this toon summon skull is originally from pharaoh servant who knew i certainly didn't that's crazy the original toon summon skull pulled out of a pharaoh servant ocg pack that is crazy i don't think it's a it's not a parallel where it's just an ultra but that is super cool Let's go. Okay, Pharaoh Servant. We're actually getting a couple pulls out of here. I'm liking this. Man, Toon Summon Skull out of Pharaoh Servant. That's so weird. That is so weird. I love it. Now let's get Toon, uh, Toon Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, as you could say, if you wanted to say it the right way. Uh, Flying Kamakiri. Mother Grizzly. A lot of, uh, a lot of, what are those things called? Recruiters. A little Commencement Dance. We have the Giant Rat and the Spear Cretan. He's a little Cretan. Look at this guy. A little Cretan. Last Pack Magic. Out of Pharaoh's Servant. We got a pull. I mean, that's that's magic, to be honest. Oh, I just destroyed that one. Whoops. Got a little aggressive. Try to get to it too quick. Giant Rat. Shining Angel. Mystic Plasma Zone. Cyber Jar again. And... Okay. Stone Ogre got him. Okay, we are on to the oldest pack we have, which is Magic Ruler. This set came out on April 20th, 2000. Very old, very classic. What set does this make up? That's the question. And here it tells me that it's Magic Ruler and Japanese Pharaoh Servant makes up Spell Ruler, which is super strange, super weird. What, are there any ultis in this set? No ultis in this one. So I guess a couple of the sets don't have ultis. What do we want? We want Relinquished. Relinquished is in here. Slot Machine Ultra Parallel? The older brother? Let's see if we can get those. All right, Magic Ruler, a 2000 Yu-Gi-Oh set. Like this is like 24 years old almost. 
No, oh, it is basically a couple days away from 24 year anniversary. All right. Peacock, very creative name. Liquid Beast, also creative. That is something also explosion. Uh, it's oh, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> the, the, the dropping the cards. What kind of Ruxin special is that? The Ruxin drops the card special. That's Curse of Fiend and High Tide Yoshi. At least there was nothing crazy there, but OK. I ruined that, but now we're on to the big moment. We have one, two, three, four, five, six Spell of Mask. These are the big ones. Spell of Mask came out April 19th, so not April 20th, 2001. So the next year, they almost released one on the exact same day the next year. This set had two ultimate rares, the Mask Beast and Blue Eyes White Dragon. So if we get an ulti, I mean, it would be kind of sad if it was the Mask Beast, but it would still be amazing. The Blue Eyes in here, if it's PSA 10, 4,000, 5,000, depending on how much the background is. So very, very expensive card, especially in today's market when there's not really that many four to $5,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's that big. So I've never opened any of this set. I've never pulled this card. So this would be a huge 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 one i'm super excited let's get a foil in here and make the blue eyes ultimate rare let's go spell of mask these are like 90 dollars packs i think so they're pretty expensive because the ocg tends to like the ultis not be as expensive unless they're big and yeah the blue eyes is one of them so that is really big okay oh upside down card does that mean something should i should i flip it around just one card yeah oh maybe that means something we have tornado wall sword of landstar these are a little bit more easy to move mask of weakness and as you can see it's a labyrinth of nightmare set look whoa who is this i don't know who this is interesting last card here we go upside down card Ooh, it was a rare return of the doomed so getting a rare not guaranteed very very cool spell of mask cards are being pulled ultimate rare come on come on come on let's make this one of the craziest openings right before we do a crazy opening tonight on whatnot so make sure you're there use my link in the description get 15 dollars free credit it's pretty awesome uh another upside down card does this always happen i don't know scroll of bewitchment i think amphibian beast a rare in our labyrinth of nightmare you know how do we stand an ultra rare in our labyrinth of nightmare lady assailant of flames and we have another rare anakin the chosen one another rare so a lot of rares coming out of here very strange anakin skywalker four packs left in the opening very expensive opening today so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it make sure you subscribe if you have if you want to see more cool openings like this in the future i will try to make it happen maybe try to pick up some more packs like this maybe have a little bit better like even better luck we've had decent luck we've got actually gotten a couple good cards jar of green let's make it insane luck right here mask of weakness jam defender we have lady panther the lady is that it yeah the lady's back okay three packs left ultimate rare i'm looking for you blue eyes be in here be it be a be have been be in here and have been hiding in this pack how do you even say this for the last 24 years it's very hard to say yeah i hope that you've been hiding in this pack for 24 years okay upside down again that has been meaning rare hopefully that means ultimate rare now dancing fairies humanoid worm slime or worm drake humanoid worm slime i think maybe that's it. That's a short print in our uh, TCG Lab of the Nightmare. Cure Mermaid. We have United Beast Stand. And here we go. It's a Torrential. A Torrential Tribute. That's a rare as well. Man, a lot of good cards and rare in common. Two packs left. Two more chances. Spell a mask. Come on. Do your thing. Be here. Give us something big. Ultimate rare. Let's go. Two packs left. Jam Defenders not flipped upside down, but that just meant rare. We don't know about foils. Let's see. Infinite Dismiss. No, Infinite Cards. Mage Power, also an ultra for us. Fairy of the Wind or something. And oh, Crimson Century, I think. One more pack. One more chance at the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes. I mean, I already have one, but I would love to pull one myself. I mean, how cool would that be? <sighs> this is going to be my next test now that we've got a first set Blue Eyes pull. Here we go. Can you bless us with something crazy? Spell of... Oh, I destroyed it. Oh, well. It'll be worth it if we pull something big. Spell of Mask, Glass Pack Magic in the opening. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget about don't forget about tonight's one hour stream, 6 30 p.m. Central. I want to see you guys there. Use my link for $15 free credit. Blue eyes, here we go. Dancing Fairy. Tornado Wall. Come on. Come on. Trying to rux a special. Last time that meant something. Fairy something. Shining Abyss. Last card. Come on. What can I do for the ultimate rare? Here we go. Ah. Oh. 
Okay. All right. Is this a banned card? I don't remember what it's called, but I think it's banned. All right. That was a fun opening. We did get a couple foils, which is more than I could have expected. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want to see more, make sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.